Oh, hey there, my name's Jason. I, I ordered my Model 3 back in late July and it took about four months actually to go through the Tesla machine. So I finally took delivery sort of uh, mid-December. So I've had a little bit of time to play with it. So I, I told Jack about my planned road trip uh, to South Australia and he suggested it might be a good idea for me to uh, document uh, some of that for you guys. <laughs> I left Brisbane and I took three days um, to get to Port Augusta, which is where my family is. Um, I had uh, a couple of weeks um, in Port Augusta, had some great fun showing showing my nephew. Um, he was very excited about the uh, Tesla Model 3 and um, showing him Smart Summon and, and those sort of things. So that was a lot of fun, but it is time to go home. So this is where my journey begins in Port Augusta. I'm planning on basically following the same route I came. So uh, I'll, I'll be driving uh, through Clare, um, Mildura, and um, up through that way. Um, and I'll, I'll share my journey with you as, as I go. So uh, the charging experience at my mum's place, um, very sweet of her. She had a 15 amp PowerPoint put in for me. So I was just using the mobile charger to um, keep up a charge in Port Augusta. Um, it's a very small country town. There's, there's um, very limited um, charging um, capabilities um, here. So, so I was fine um, using my mum's PowerPoint. But anyway, it's time to hit the road. Uh, my first stop's going to be Clare and um, I'll see you there. Uh, I left Port Augusta a couple of hours ago. I left with 80% charge. I was using um, a 15 amp PowerPoint there uh, to keep the charge up. So I've just hit my first supercharger at Clare in South Australia. Uh, I'm going to charge to 100% because the next leg's quite long and I'm currently pulling 119 kilowatts. So one thing I have noticed so far is the consumption does go up uh, a fair bit when you're driving in the rain. So um, yeah, just didn't realize how how much of an effect it did, does have on the on the uh, consumption. So um, next stop is Mildura. So I'll see you there. So a bit of an update. I changed the setting in the A Better Route Planner to rain and it's suggesting I can only go 70 kilometers an hour to make it to Mildura. So I think I'm gonna reroute via Adelaide and just basically return the way I came. So that's another interesting thing you learn along the way. Rain really does have an effect if you're kind of stretching to that limit. Okay, see you in Adelaide. So I've arrived in Adelaide. Um, it's just after noon. I'm at the Adelaide Supercharger. It's only one. Um, and I'm charging up to 81% to get to Keith, which is the next supercharger. Uh, it's still wet, still cold. So I'm getting about 230 um, kilowatt per kilometer. Is that how you read it? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, I'll see you in Keith. Well, welcome to Keith. Um, thought I'd get out the car and show you what's around. It's one of the nicer supercharger sites. Um, I'm going to stop here, fill to 80%, and the next stop is going to be um, Horsham. So, here we go. Hey, still in Keith. Um, I wanted to show you some unusual behavior that the autopilot does when it's um, coming out of one of those overtaking lanes. Um, it waits to the very last second and then kind of wrenches over to the right. And if you happen to be passing another car, it almost feels like you're heading for it, but it straightens out. But yeah, it certainly keeps you um, entertained. Hey, well, I'm at Horsham in Victoria. Uh, just getting a top up uh, to get me to Bendigo. Um, just wanted to show you this uh, supercharger. It's probably one of the 
less great ones. It's um, a two stall on a crate pallet thing. And um, it's kind of in the back of the target. And there are these little bush flies everywhere. So um, anyway, I'll get this one over and done with and I'll see you at the next stop. So it's day two, um, I'm just about to set off. I checked into the Central Debra Motor Inn and I was lucky enough to be able to uh, charge on a destination charger. So I got a 100% charge overnight for free. And um, next stop is Gundagai. So um, see you there. Well, I um, jumped the gun a bit. I'm not at Gundagai, I'm at Dana Waratha. Um, I'm at the charge box um, rapid charger and um, hopefully it'll um, charge up to about um, 200 um, kilowatt hours. Um, it's a bit grim here, I don't know if you can see the um, bushfire smoke, um, it's quite thick but at this point it looks like it's not going to affect my journey. So. Um, See you at the next stop. So for something different, this particular charging station um, was run by solar, apparently. So that's kind of cool. Well, I made it to Goulburn, um, just getting a charge here. Bit of an interesting journey. I um, used uh, Navigator on autopilot and um, decided to try and kill me a couple of times by trying to turn into little um, uh, non-existent lanes. Um, yeah, it's definitely a beta product, but um, maybe more about that later. So, getting close. Next stop is um, Sydney. So I'll see you then. So I'm at the home run. I'm charging at Tesla at St Leonard's. Um, apparently, this place is closing. Um, very shortly and becoming some plumbing shop. So I'll be a bit of a loss to North Sydney. I'm sure they'll replace it with another one. So um, I'm off to um, Newcastle and do an update there. Well, here I am at um, the Macadamia Castle. This is my last charging stop before home. I kind of pushed it to the limit a little bit, down to 9%, probably the, the lowest I've been. So I'll do one final report when I'm home. Well, I made it home, um, a three day journey in total. Um, I stopped at Heatherbray and supercharged there and stayed in the hotel there overnight. Um, I didn't make a video, I'm sorry, I was just so tired. I, I needed to get to bed, but um, the, the remainder of the journey was, was pretty smooth and, and trouble free. Um, just uh, some of the highlights of my trip, you probably um, noticed I changed my route. I was gonna go from Clare in South Australia to Mildura in Victoria. Um, the better route planner was, was quoting um, a very tight journey on a dry road. And it was recommending I, I travel at 90 kilometers an hour to make that distance safely. Um, it was quite a wet day and I changed the settings and um, it recommended I slow down to 70 kilometers an hour. So uh, I was just a little too uncomfortable for that. So I changed my mind and went from Clare to Adelaide and basically just returned um, the, the way that I came down, as you can see on the map. Um, other things I learned, I had a little bit of range anxiety um, on the way down because I was a newbie. Um, I wasn't quite sure, you know, what to expect. But once I got to know the car, um, and what it could do, um, that range anxiety basically disappeared. So uh, I found myself on the way home actually even stretching it um, further um, when, when I got down to 9%. So um, on the way down, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere near that low without panicking, but it was fine because I knew what the car could do. Um, top marks for the um, Tesla charging networks. Um, I didn't have any um, issues with faulty charges or anything like that on the way down or back. Fortunately, I can't say the same for the um, ChargeFox network. It was a little inconsistent. Had a problem on the way down with a 
both uh, 350 kilowatt chargers at the Sydney um, shopping center being down and uh, ChargeFox tried to remotely reboot them to no avail. So I ended up having to use the 50 kilowatt charger. It took a little longer, but that was fine. Also in um, Barra Waratha, sorry, don't know how to pronounce that. Um, there were two chargers there, but one of them had a broken CCS2 port. So um, it was broken on the way down. Had to wait for another guy to finish charging. Uh, fortunately, the uh, the second one was free uh, on the way back, but the other one was still broken. So that was almost two weeks later. So they obviously don't fix them super fast. Uh, also, the Charge Fox charger in Goulburn, um, it had just come online and they were offering free um, high speed charging. It was advertised as, as a 350 kilowatt charger. Um, I was lucky to get um, over a hundred. So um, I don't know whether they had it on, on a lower setting while they were testing it, I don't know, but um, freeze free, um, I took the charge. So also found too, um, if I arrived somewhere and um, had the opportunity to charge now or, or later, I always took the now option because you just don't know whether the charges are going to be busy later or, or you know, who knows, one could go offline. So I, I just took the opportunity to, to um, charge while I could. Um, I specifically chose uh, hotels that offered destination charging because I figure um, they've gone to the effort to, to uh, arrange to put that in. So I supported them. And of course I get free charging, so, so that was handy. So um, uh, I stayed at Bendigo on the first night and got free charging. And uh, the second night, like I said, was at um, Heather Bray and I used the supercharger, which was right next door to the hotel. Um, so that was good. On the way down, I, I um, specifically stayed at the Keith Motel because it offered um, free destination charging. So um, yeah, just keep an eye out for that if, if you're ever planning a journey. Um, overall, really, really happy with um, the way the car have performed. Um, really comfortable and um, I'll call it lightweight to, to drive uh, because of all the automation um, in it. You still obviously stay alert, but it just takes a lot of the load off of your brain um, while, while you're driving. So um, I, I felt you know, fairly refreshed um, um, when I arrived each day. Um, the air conditioning was fantastic. Um, it was like really hot on the way down. Uh, had a bit of a reprieve on the way back, but the air conditioning coped really well. Um, I did notice um, it alerted me a couple of times about high tire pressure, and those are on the really hot days. Um, fortunately, those warnings coincided with when I was stopping uh, for a charging break, and the pressure returned to normal, so I didn't need to um, adjust anything, so, so that was fine. The only other thing is um, getting a car with white seats. Probably doesn't mean you're gonna to have to get white snacks. Um, I made the mistake of getting some Cheetos uh, on the way back and uh, I was just paranoid and um, having my wet wipes sort of in one hand and, and um, yeah, it was just a, a lot of worry. So, so yeah, st stick with white food. Um, overall, um, I love Flipper. Flipper's the name of my car, by the way. And um, I'm really looking forward to the next one now, now that I've, I've learned a lot and um, I hope this information is useful um, to you when you're planning your trip. Okay, see you on the road.